Hello YouTube, I'm Musikev, and this is Pokemon Sun Blind Nuzlocke Challenge. And this is the Lake of the Moon, eh? It's, I think, out of my way, but it looks like a fun little area to explore. And I bet you I'm about to encounter something. Ooh, Psyshock. Psyshock's nice because it is a special attack move that hits... Your, poke your opponent's defense. Huh. It's just a long hallway. You know what? Sorry to destroy the um, atmosphere by this jaunty music, but... I bet this is where the, um... Oh, wait. That symbol. That symbol's the symbol of, um... The moon's legendary. Interesting. So this must be where you come to catch him. At... Even though, um... This is the the legendary of this game is Sol Solga Ligo, Solga Leo. Yeah, there you go. The get does give you the opportunity to catch most of the um, Pokemon games give you the opportunity to ch catch the other games um, legendary. I mean, technically speaking, it would be the first Pokemon I encountered there, but like I've said in the past, legendaries are overpowered, and they don't belong in those like challenges. Ah, oh, there he is. I so want to catch this guy. If only to learn more about him. I mean, geez. So weird. Um, but for now, I think I trust Charlie in there. I've never seen him use an electric move before. So I think Charlie could be fine. Please don't prove me wrong, Charlie. Thank you. Let's just take him out. Oh, wait, what? Scald is super effective against this one? Okay, I guess he's flying fire. I don't understand these Pokemon. Okay, so the yellow one is definitely electric type. The red one is definitely fire type. What was the other color I saw? I think blue? Because they're different on every island. I think it's blue. The blue one must be ice. But I have no way of confirming that. I guess I could look at the Pokedex. But again, I think that spoils some of the fun. Alright, Route 17. This is a new route. And this is a Team Skull run. Huh. <laughs> a bit police station. I wonder what this is like. There are Aloha Meows everywhere. What, Cena? Okay, thanks, Cena. Alright, so this is the Mysterious Route 17. And I have not caught a Pokemon on Route 17 yet, because I've not been to Route 17 yet. Let's see what's up here. Okay. Yes, I am intentionally dodging the... Dodging the grass stations. What? What? I can't? Okay. So, let's take out Team Skull here. I would really prefer a Pokemon Center... No one has lost it. What a lovely good day. Heh. That's about to not be lovely for you. Bring it on, dude. Oh, 
Man, I hate fighting Golbats. You never know what Pokemon to use against them. Well, it's raining, so we're going to use Charlie. It seems like all of his Pokemon, they, the Pokemon that they guys, they have, are good against Volet. I am so glad I switched out before using, before he used that. And there's the poison thing. And of course we get poisoned, because why wouldn't we? You're nothing more than an inconvenience. Uh, I know it's super interesting watching me apply antidotes to my Pokemon, but I cannot have Charlie, of all people, affected by poison. Uh, we're going to go this way. You get that Zygarde piece. I'm going to fight this Checky. <laughs> I've definitely been recording a while because my voice is starting to go. Are you holding out your wrist so I can slap it? Marini. I heard its ability is something that makes it do more damage whenever... Or no, makes it always crit... Whenever I'm poisoned. And there's the poison. Toxic is horrible. Eighty damage. Seventy. Eighty. Sexton. I think I can take him. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. That's a crit. That's a double damage. That's crit. Oh. What? Sucker punch. What? Why do I have to go and get fancy and use sucker punch? This is not a good matchup. This needs to sweat. stop. Um... We'll put Vule in. Well, no. Yeah, we'll put Vule in. That way he gets experience points from beating up this idiot. And he gets experience points from beating up the next idiot. That won't do much against me. He's a little bit stronger than his other guy. Okay, so Brick Break is not very effective because he's probably 100% poison. I'm not entirely sure. Um... We're going to go with Beat Up, though, because I think it does more damage than Rock Tomb. Maybe he has Poison Barbs or something like that? Down he goes. Well, that's not a very... Yeah, we're going to forget an old move for Super Fang. Um, Assurance, because that never works for me. Super Fangs are a nice move to have. Fomantis, eh? I don't think I'm afraid of you. I can hit you with Rock Tomb. One more Rock Tomb. So, just in case anybody forgot, I haven't caught a Pokemon on this route or the route down lower. Jeez. Okay, look. Look, dude. You're not giving me enough experience points to even make fighting you worth my time. And you're really just inconveniencing me. With your attacks. 
And of course I have to go up and around the other way. Let's do that now. Did you just say something to me? Yeah. I like how that introduction goes. Come on, dude. Silent it. If you're gonna hit me with a fire type move, it's not gonna be very effective in the or it's gonna be reduced in the brain. What you're more likely to do is hit me with um something to poison me. Yep, there it is. You're so very predictable. And since I outspeed you anyway, I'm not going to go ahead and risk the Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch is good if you know that you're going to beat Outsped, but otherwise it's not really worth my time. Just like these battles aren't worth my time. I don't like how low level these guys are. Because it gives you that false sense of confidence and security. Because, as we saw earlier, their their admins are... That's a, that's a stupid Pelipper. Their admins are more than formidable. Oh yeah, I wanted to get this. That's a full heal. Well, let's see what I see. Dang it! Look! I'm so sick of seeing the same Pokemon! I want to catch something new! Dude. Dude! Not cool. Go away. Eh. I just noticed that whenever I switch into Pokemon, it shows me what effectiveness the moves are against the Pokemon I'm coming into. I mean, they do make things a little bit more obvious in this game. Which is a little bit hand-holdy, but I don't mind it because it's not in your face. I'm not healing my Raticate right now. This is going to be another Raticate, and I'm not going to be able to catch it because it's the second time I've seen it. No, it's a Fero. Which, I mean, I guess is an improvement. But due to the Duplicates Clause and the fact that I still have a Spiro, I still can't catch the Fero. I'm going to have Charlie finish this. Then we'll have everybody at level 40 at least. Everybody useful at level 40. I'm still waiting to see what Marlin can do, but... He's yet to show me his, uh... His potential. Alright, so guys, that's my second Pokemon up here on this route. Which leaves me with only the route below, um... Below the meadow for me to catch a Pokemon in this area. Eh, poison jab. I might spend some time off screen teaching some new moves. Um, I don't want to go there yet. I will fight you. Carnivine's her fave? Let's see Carnivine then. Dude. That's a Rattata. Rattata is awful. Why why at this point in the game are do am I even still seeing Rattata? 
All my Pokemon have evolved. Oh, look, Double Edge. Such a strong move. I should be so afraid of you. I mean, I shouldn't mock because I did just take like 40 damage from that. But come on, Rattata. As long as I outspeed Raticate, he's not going to be a threat either. He's gone. See ya. I don't want to fight those two, so I won't advance the screen. I will, however, go back and see what I can catch on that route. Heal up my Pokemon. And then make my way back up here. Don't worry, it will be fast because I'm riding my Tauros, and my Tauros moves fast. Plus, wasn't there a guy who was going to do something with me if I beat all the trainers on his route? Maybe that was on Route 16. Like, at the beginning of it. Was this the route that I avoided Pokemon? No, it's lower. Huh. My bad. No, it is this route. Route 16. Nope, that's definitely Eradicate again. Please don't be Eradicate. Yes! I'll take that! A Slowpoke. Slowpoke? I'm gonna use Super Fang on you, because I know it won't kill you. How's Water Pulse gonna do against me? Slowpoke, don't go call calling, calling for help. Dude. I'm gonna reduce his hit points by half again. Then I'm gonna throw a Pokeball at it. Well, I guess I'm not using that move anymore. Fine, I didn't even want to use that move. You're a butt. Actually, before I can even throw a poke Pokeball at these idiots, I have to kill the one on the left. Dude. Kill the girl. Now, Slowpoke. Come into the Pokeball. I'll hit you with an Ultra Ball so you have something fun to be in. Okay, so this might be a really dated reference, but I'm going to name him Beavis. I'm basing it, well, like, I don't, I didn't watch the show when I was younger. I still don't watch the show. But Beavis and Butthead was a show, and that's what it's, that is what it's um, based off of, because one of the insults they always called each other was Butt Munch. And since he evolves into a guy who has a... Oop, wait, don't want to put him on the party. Since he evolves into a guy that has a Pokemon on his butt, I figured that Butt Munch is an ideal name for him. So, er, well, Butt Munch is not a mature name to give him, so his name is instead Beavis, to reference that. Again, not a Lolan Pokemon, so it's not a Pokemon I'm going to likely use for a while. But it's always nice to have a couple backups. I know that another, um, 
additional rule you can add to Nuzlocks is the um, is the rule for uh, if I don't know what it's called, but there's a rule that if you already have six Pokemon on your team, you can't catch another. So you never get backup Pokemon. I think the way that one works is that if you do ca if you would be allowed to catch a Pokemon, you're not like if you hit it hit a point in the route that you could have caught a Pokemon, you have to ignore it. Like, and you can't go back to that route to catch a Pokemon. You. You're lucky. I will spare your life today. Only because I need my friends to be at full their full cap fighting capabilities for whatever's about to come next. And whatever is about to come next is not a bunch of berries. I'm still waiting for Crab Brawler to jump out. I really like that Pokemon just because it reminds me of Rocky. And I think that's what the design was that they were going for. Oopsie. I want to keep Marlin in the lead, but I want to have Vole as my secondary just because I think that this battle upcoming is a double battle. What's up, one join Team Saul? What up, is that Z-Ring? For real, you're actually on the island challenge? Alright then, I get it. Kinda laughed at those losers who gave up on the island challenge, huh? Shut up so suddenly and got the nerve to laugh at me? So, Team Skull is made up of people who abandoned their island challenge. Can you just say Team Skull grunts instead of Team Skull, Skull grunt and Team Skull grunt? Hmm. This could go one of two ways. I'm going to go ahead and sucker punch the Drowsy. Because if Drowsy is going to attack, it's going to die. And I'm going to also beat up the Drowsy. Ah, nice! Good job, Marlin. You might have just saved Volet's life. It was worth the risk. Fling. Um, let me keep my old moves. I get why you want to teach him fling. But he doesn't really ever hold an item that I really want to throw. Plus, beat up is much better. No fair. I hate strong kids like you. I'm not letting you in. You there, boy. Are you the team skull at? No. Seems you're getting through Po Town. You sure you thought this through? Better be ready if you're thinking of coming in here. Ready to live as Team Skull or ready to take on Team Skull? Think you're ready for that? I am. Because everyone has their own reasons. I've got my reasons too for doing what I do. I'll have them let you in. If you don't make it, I'll be sure your remains at least get back home. Is he Team Skull's admin? Or leader? Oh man, heavy rain. Look how messed up this town is. Oh, what's this numbskull doing here? Oh, wait. What should I do? Forget about this. We've got barbacle. I mean, we've got this barricade. Do you really want to bother moving out of the way to take on one kid? So true. Go home. You're not coming in here. Got it? Not unless you some find some path through here. What if the island kahuna... The island's kahuna is actually a mem the leader of Team Skull. I bet that's the case. We'll find out for sure next episode, though. Until then, I'm Music Kev, and this is Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke Challenge. Stick around to see how Artistical did. Hello, YouTube. It's Artistical, and I've decided that it's no use wailing about the past. I'm in a beautiful region, on a beautiful island, 
walking through a beautiful meadow. I even named the petalil I caught after my new attitude here. Beauty. I need to get back to enjoying this game. Seriously, I wouldn't shut up about it the first few episodes, so let's get back to it. Actually, speaking of what I used to do, let me complain a little about the fact that I didn't catch an Ori Corio in the meadow. Seriously? Why do I keep getting old Pokemon? Though, to be fair, I have no idea what Petalil evolves into. That's how behind I am with the Pokemon generations. So, technically she's new? But seriously, I really wanted a Flamenco Ori Corio. Back to business, though. I am intent on enjoying myself. I even explored the nearby ruins, which was on Lake Sun, by the way, unlike Musikev's. That's Sun with an extra N and E at the end, so... I'm going to continue the story. I'm going to find out what Team Skull is up to, and what I have to eventually do against Team Aether. I'm going to enjoy this game like I used to. And hope no more of my Pokémon die.